all right guys welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new mercedes eqe 2022 version and in this video i will make the full review interior exterior i will show you everything about this new eqe before we go forward i want to tell you that i'm in switzerland at tehash willy if you want to buy the car if you're around switzerland if you want to see it check them out guys the link will be in the description of the video also tell them you see my video and you will get a nice discount before we go forward i want to point out that the version that i have with me today is the 350 plus the 350 plus is the entry level version the model with the longest range that you can get it and probably one of the best choice if you ask me because the car is just incredible check out the test drive video there i explain you a little bit more the car is lovely i don't know if you need even more power that this car offer because it feels more than enough when you go on the street and also the comfort is just incredible this is full option the model is full option it has everything like glass roof like leather massage on your seats you have uh, heated seats ventilated seats all the safety features and autopilot that you can get from Mercedes you have it on this EQE 350 plus model price of the car here in Switzerland start at 84,300 francs without without all these options right here you can pause the video you can read it out uh, and then you can start it again now I give you a little bit faster some information about the options it has the pack parking remote that cost 935 francs that means the car can park itself the same as Tesla make with someone you can do with Mercedes the same thing but you have to use the application on your phone in order to do that then the car come also with package premium plus 70,700 francs don't ask me because I don't know what this includes but I think it includes a lot of things probably also those seats super super nice seats with ambient light insertion and stuff like that then you have here metallic color you have the heated steering wheel heated seats on the rear anyway i will show you everything in the video as we go but you just pause the video and read it out you can also translate it if you want to the final price with all this option will be 190,548 francs but here at, at Tehash Willy, guys, you have a special discount, 14,648 francs, and the final price will be 104,900 francs. So the price is high, but the quality, it's also really good. It's almost more than double quality than a Tesla Model 3 and even Tesla Model S, I should say, inside this cabin. Now let's go to the technical data a little bit more deeper. As I said, the car is the longest range that you can get it. The power of the car is 292 horsepower. Also, it's a rear wheel drive system and it comes with one speed automatic transmission. Because you don't have so many horsepower, because it's a rear wheel drive, system you have a longer range the battery capacity it's 100 kilowatt hour but usable it's only 90 kilowatt hour battery the range of the car VLTP it's up to 660 kilometers it's just incredible I drive the car and wow I was impressed with the consumption for example the drag coefficiency of the car it's only 0.20 so it's one of the most aerodynamic car in the world in this moment the turning circle 10.7 meters the boot space capacity 430 liters there i wish to be a little bit more but yeah i guess it's still still enough for the purpose of the car the car come with four wheel steering that means all four wheels can steer even the rear wheels will steer and when you take the curve is just incredible how easy it is to turn this car you can check out this test drive that i did guys i was really impressed i mean also the car come with air suspension and the car just is doing such a lovely job over the bumps and on the curves it's just incredible so that was all the technical data let's start the review guys and then we will make the conclusion in the end here is the key first of all the same key as mercedes use it also on other model what you can do with the key is just lock the car of course the car come also with electric folding mirrors or unlock the car 
every time you lock and unlock the car, you can see also that the car comes with those incredible handles that can go inside. You can see right now they are inside, they are closed inside the door. That means it has a gorgeous aerodynamic. The drag coefficient is 0.20. It's one of the best aerodynamic on the market. That's why probably it has such a good range. If you unlock it, you just put your finger here, the car will unlock or you just do it with your key. So you can see on the back, it has the same handles as EQS, for example. And also it has an LED light under there. I don't know if you can see it here. And also in the front, it has a nice LED light that in the nighttime, you can see it just gorgeous. Also, you can see the Mercedes Benz writing here. So the quality, it's everywhere. They put a lot of quality in every single thing in the car. You will see in a moment also. And then you have this button where you can, of course, open the trunk it comes with automatic lift gate and also you can close it from the key that's something that you cannot do on other uh, cars this is what you can do with the key guys all right now let's talk a little bit about the exterior design of the car as i said before one of the best aerodynamic of the market 0.20 it's just incredible i mean this 350 model is the longest range that you can get on eqe and it's just incredible i mean you have the comfort you have this beautiful car kind of a business car it's much more compact and much more affordable than eqs for example and it just doesn't have the size of the car it's not so big difference between model 3 and this one and i think for me personally this might be one of the best choice if i would get a mercedes if i will get a mercedes tomorrow probably will be this EQE. The design, it's, it's very similar with EQS. It's almost identical. It's just the back, it's a little bit more shorter, but other than that, it's very, very identical with EQS. It's a beautiful car. It's a nice car. It's mostly, mostly designed for a better aerodynamic and that help a lot electric cars to get a better range up to 660 km. It's more than enough range. I drive the car and the consumption was really good. From the back side, to be honest, I don't know if you see on the video, it looks a little bit like a little bit like a Porsche 911. I don't know, this area here, these angles, the way it comes like that with this line, tail lights. I don't know, it's just my opinion, but it's really, really interesting, really nice, simple, beautiful car. It comes also with a panoramic glass roof that you can even open it up i will show you a little bit later tinted windows on the upper side on the side here we have this chrome design that comes across the windows also we have here black glossy here black glossy beautiful beautiful integration and also great combination the chrome with the handles with the line there under the doors it has a quite a good combination between this chrome and color i should say Anyway, we have the EQE here on the side, so you know which kind of car it is. And then if we go down here, you will see that we have these chrome new rims with this Mercedes kind of half of Mercedes logo here cross. It looks beautiful. It's unique. It's new right now on the EQE and it looks really, really good. 20 inch rims on the front, 20 inch rims on the back. And even though we have such a big rims, the car still managed to have gorgeous handlings and great aerodynamics so very very nice if you look closely inside there we have ventilated brake this huge brake this ventilated brake this uh, brake caliper in gray i don't know if you can see it and on the rear uh, we have brake discs the same huge brake discs and the brake calipers are on the side right here this is it guys also the ground clearance it's pretty low the car come with air suspension so depending which driving mode you are the car will react accordingly i will show you when we go inside uh, the car but other than that simple and nice in this area here we have some plastic and i don't understand why they didn't protect this area here probably because this is aluminium you can see it's a super light part they use a lot of light parts for example this is not but this is aluminium and i think the doors are also probably that why they didn't bother to cover this area because it will not rust this part here so other than that the windscreen 
it's a little bit longer as you can see here and also they integrate a lot of cameras there and sensors the car can film in the front it has 360 degrees uh, can read the traffic speed limit is for lane assist and it has a lot of tech you can see also the test drive there i show you a few things the hood relatively simple and smooth like electric cars two logo mercedes logo there this huge uh, mercedes logo also in the front here behind this logo it's the uh, radar and if you look closely you can see some lines there i don't know if you can see the lines it has some lines inside there that means this area is defrosted in the winter it will automatically defrost so you will not have that ice here so for example you don't have that problem that the autopilot will not work because it will defrost this radar and it will work with the upper side also defrosted and yeah in the winter it's it's perfect camera front camera the car come with 360 degrees camera also the front grille pretty simple black glossy with this mercedes crosses everywhere we have six sensors guys in the front for parking and for different safety features full led light we have digital light this is the latest technology from mercedes and it looks just wonderful i mean in the night time it's just more than perfect you don't have to worry about lighting lighting in mercedes at least in those uh, new mercedes is just fabulous and also it looks relatively nice now we have some kind of fakery design here on the side kind of sporty design i'm not sure how useful it is for aerodynamic but it looks a little bit different i think it was not so nice if they make it even everything so round so they try to somehow move it to the sport side a little bit then some chrome down here and here we have the air intakes to cool down the battery there are some pedals that they are closed and open depend how the battery need to be depend on the weather here because you cannot open the hood the frunk um, they put right here the wiper fluid so the wiper fluid will come here it's very simple to open it up led light blinkers here is the camera here we have some sensors and some led lights in the nighttime it will illuminate the floor here we have the blind spot technology quite big mirrors so you have a good visibility here's the charging port on the other side of the driver and it's simple to open it up also um, you can see right here dc ac you can charge the car uh, on this side look how interesting they integrate this brake light it's for the first time when i see that it's integrated in the door the trunk door there it's it's super super interesting the way they integrate it there they make also some kind of spoiler here uh, that help uh, the aerodynamic help the downside the downforce when you drive at high speed of course full led light here you can see mercedes logo very nice three-dimensional shape turning signals brake light fog lamps reverse light everything it's led and also the crossbar on the back it's also led the same as on the s class you can see it also from the back the way it looks quite quite nice now down here some light reflectors six sensors parking on the rear some uh, fakery kind of fakery some chrome design insertion here and other than that if you look down there everything it's flat they actually flat out all the ground of the car in this way they will get a better aerodynamic led lights on the number plate of course and this is the exterior i think i show you almost everything i'm not sure if i miss something on the car i hope not going to the trunk you open it up like this automatic lift gate also we have here the buttons to close and lock the trunk here we have some plastic at the entrance the cable that comes with the car when you buy the car and this is the entrance it's not such a big huge entrance but inside here you have quite quite some space to put your things uh, i'm not sure for a family with many kids but for two person three person will be just fine some led light up here and other than that you have some hooks in the corners what i notice is that you don't have a 12 volt port here so they didn't focus too much on these things but you have some hooks you have like a deeper here maybe 20 centimeters deepness and then under the floor you still have some storage space a small storage space where you can put a repair kit medical kit and stuff like that now if you want to fold down the seats in the front there we have to go in the back here and from here um, you have to fold it down you have a button here and you can do it just like that i'm just let me go on the other side 
I almost forgot to adjust the seats in the front. But by the way, I want to show you also this thing. The fact that even the front seats come with electric adjustment here. So you can adjust it from here, from the door. Every position, it comes with massage seats, with ventilated seats, heated seats. Lovely, 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 lovely seats. So let me adjust it. From here, you have also the free saving position, ventilated seats, heated seats, massage on your seats. Also, the door have high quality materials. We will talk about that a little bit later. Now, let me go in the back here. Also, you see how you open those handles. They are just electrically uh, operated. So you just pull it a little bit and it would unlock. It's nothing mechanical. Everything is electrically here. Also the same, press this button, fold down the seats and you will have a flat floor. Now, if we go on the back here, you will see that it's not a flat completely. You have some plastic there, but uh, overall it's very useful to carry long items, big items. Sometimes when you need them, it's, it's very useful. This is the trunk, close it from here. Also, I forget to show you EQE 350 plus. Keep in mind, this is the model. If you go here, guys, you can see that the entrance in the car, the door is opening relatively big. And you can see the entrance here in the back. It's, it's quite good. It's quite fine. Also, you can see one more time the space right here, space in the trunk. It's quite nice. Anyway, uh, if you want to fold back the seats, you have to fold the uh, seat belt and then push it back like that. Let me close the door. Let me go on the other side. The car doesn't come with soft close. For example, you can see right here, it doesn't have soft close. That's something to uh, keep in mind. But the quality of the doors, it's really, really good. Let me put them back like that. Now, we have frameless window on the rear. One is fixed, one can be fold down. And of course, right now the engine is not on, but you can fold it all the way down. The quality on the doors, it's super, super high class. I mean, down here, you have the only plastic in this area. And then you have also here, but up here you have leather, you have super, super high quality materials. You can see also the stitches there. Uh, Burnmeister speaker look lovely in this metal. Also you have heated seats on the rear, handles, some LED light insertion here in the nighttime, you can see it. And also we have a new design here. I like this design with chrome and the buttons are uh, the same buttons as it was before. Pretty practical, a lot of space in the door bands. I was not expect that. Entrance in the car, super simple. Also, you can see those big glass roofs look lovely, guys, in two pieces. So all over the roof is this glass. Then a lot of space here in the back. You can see also the seats, um, the quality material of the seats are just incredible. I mean, I always, I was always a big fan of Mercedes seats, at least in the last two, three years, they make incredible high quality seats. Even here on the side, we have leather and good quality uh, Isofix for child. You can install two child seats here. Lovely, lovely seats. In the middle, you have here, let me show you, two cup holders and you have this armrest leather. Super, super cool. Also, of course, you can press this where was button and you can fold down the middle part so you can carry long items without any problem. So that's also great. Good. Going inside, we have a hookup here. Going inside, it's very easy. Once I'm here inside, guys, when I close the door, the sound insulation, it's incredible here. You cannot hear so many noise from outside. Uh, I was impressed when I did the test drive. Now the space up here, I have four fingers over my head. Where is the glass? So not big space. I'm 173 centimeters. So don't expect to have such a big space in the back here, but still it's fine. Taking into consideration the shape of the car and the aerodynamic. On the legs room, it's other story. Huge space on the legs room. And also I can stretch my legs a little bit forward. Huge, huge space. The only downside probably is that you have kind of like an electric car because the battery is down. You have like two fingers here. Even the transmission tunnel, it's small, maybe three, four centimeters here. Very, very nice. You have a lot of space for free person. Visibility outside, it's very good. Also you have a small window. Not perfect, but uh, quite good. You have a good visibility, no problem. Here you have also uh, a light, LED light. 
quite fancy. I like the way they install it. The roof is not Alcantara or something. It's just a stuff material, but but good, good uh, material. Also, other than that, good visibility from here. Going in the middle, also we have a flat floor here. Going in the middle, oh yeah. I sit quite a little bit stiffer and also on my back it's a little bit more stiffer it's not that comfortable as on the side head space very similar stretch my hand completely wow a lot of space on the side i didn't expect that it's a lot of space on the side so free person can stay here without any problem even on the legs room it's a huge space here now look at this also you can see the front seats this is my driving position i think this one it's a little bit more forward I put it too much forward, but still huge space here. Down here, guys, I want to show you something. Here you have two USB, I think you can see it, USB-C with some cool LED lights. Uh, you can open them up like this, you can close it, and then you have the climatic system. You can turn it on and off, but you have to turn on the vehicle first of all, and now it should work, yes. And you can see right there, you can adjust the way you want it. This is also great. You have vents here and those vents feel really good quality when you touch them. I like them really, really nice. Anyway, you can turn it off just like that. Good, great. Behind the front seats, you have kind of a rubber material and yeah, it's quite nice. I like it also. Uh, down here, again, some kind of rubber over the plastic and some storage space, storage space here. Yeah, it's quite, quite cool. Anyway, we will go in the front, guys, and we will talk about the dashboard. I will explain you a little bit about the dashboard, about the multimedia system, and I will show you how complicated are all those things in the front there. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, going in the front. First of all, I want to point out that this is double glassing in the front, not as in the back. So uh, it comes with double glassing in the front, frameless window, the same as on the back. Here, the same high quality material. I like very much this insertion of kind of a chrome in, I don't know, this color is the same as the stitches on the upper side, but it has also an LED light, beautiful LED light that you can see it in the nighttime. Also behind this area here with glossy plastic chrome design, lock and unlock uh, the doors. Uh, you have heated seats, ventilated seats, saving position, massage on your seats. You can adjust the seats in every position you want from here. Burnmeister in this area, again, plastic, plastic, this area. Uh, plenty of storage space here and also the button to open the trunk. Then we have the same new design here, buttons for electric windows, electric mirrors, adjustable folding mirrors, very simple to adjust it and change the position. Mercedes-Benz at the entrance with LED light. You can see them in the nighttime, normal pedals, so no aluminum pedals or so stuff like that. And also down here you have a huge space under the center console where you have two USB C ports and plenty, plenty, plenty of space where you can put your phone or wherever you want to put down there. This is very useful on the electric cars. Entrance, relatively big. You can see one more time the glass roof. You can see those nice, beautiful seats. Super, super high quality, very comfortable seats. I drive the car, they are super comfy. The design is nice. They are ventilated, that's why they are crossed. You can see some uh, little holes there, side support, side support. Super, super comfy seats. I love them. Really, really nice seats. And also the headrest is the new trend, a little bit softer than the seats. So I like that, great job. Here are the controls for the lights and fog lamps. Here is the electronic handbrake. Down here, you don't have plastic here. It's soft material, guys, kind of a rubber. Then again here, you have also the ambient light inserted in the dashboard. It's super day outside. I cannot show you so good, but you can see it a little bit. A lot of LED lights almost everywhere. Even here in the seats, I want to tell you that here it's an LED light that goes across the boat seats and it looks so nice in the nighttime. It's just incredible nice. Wood insertion on the dash everywhere. You have wood insertion. You have those airplane vents, I should say. They look super, super nice. One of the most beautiful vents. I love them. And also you have LED light insertion right there. Chrome design, LED on the upper side up here. Uh, here you have the same material. I'm not sure this is kind of a vegan friendly leather. I'm not sure it's not leather. I'm not sure how they call it, but really, really high quality material. Now the head-up display, it's one of the best. 
I don't know if you should see my other videos when I talk a little bit about the head-up display on the S-Class, but it's just incredible, I tell you. You can see right there in the front a lot of stuff. The head-up display is just gorgeous. I tell you, one of the best on the market. You can see so clear and it's so, so nice. There you have also a speaker up here. The dashboard is relatively fine and good design it so you have a good visibility around the windows also the window it's a little bit longer up here and also tinted somehow this area so you don't you will not get blind by the sun or light the mirror in the middle super fancy super fine with tiny edges it looks gorgeous but the visibility in the back is not that good because of the shape of the car up here of course we have the controllers for the light so you can turn on the light in all the car and also here in the front you have the SOS button and then you have microphones here and here in the middle if you look closely you can close and open uh, the roof for example you can close those curtains and you can make a little bit dark inside the cabin or you can open it up and then you can also even let me show you come on and then you can even open up uh, completely the glass roof guys let me show you now if you go one more time you can open this glass roof only the first part it will open up and it's so much light so much air will come inside the cabin so that's something to keep in mind so it's a really really cool glass roof to have it in the car and it's a little bit tinted so you feel a little bit warm inside but not that much up here you have also an led light a mirror nice mirror pretty simple the material quality it's normal it's not something fancy something cool from here you can adjust the position of your seat depend how you want to have it super simple down up you can put it in every position you want very comfortable sitting on those seats and also the position of driving it's perfect down here leather we have leather here you can press this button and you can open this part here where you have a lot of space to put your stuff and also two usb ports there the same as on the rear very 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 useful let's go forward here in the front we have kind of a two let me show you those are kind of cup holders here and you can also close it like that and you have some storage space where you can put your key or yeah whatever you want to put there another two usb-c ports so many usb ports more than a computer and then you have a wireless charging for your phone right there in the front you can put it very simple and also you can close this like that it works really good quality glossy plastic here in this area it looks nice then we have the controllers for the display by the way guys i want to point out this mercedes eqe 350 plus is the entry level version and it doesn't come with that huge glass integration right here as you see in uh, s class it comes with two screens separately but if you get the eqe uh, the top version the amg version it will come with that big glass roof and i will review that video as well click the subscribe button to see that review when it'll come out anyway nice integration simple integration here i wish although to be the screen a little bit through the driver but i guess they designed it like this to be for the all the people in the car anyway you have all the information here and on the head of display you don't even need to look here when you're driving for example uh, and when you are not driving you can see very well also from here now dynamic mode you can change three different mode echo mode comfort mode sport mode and individual mode every time you change the driving mode even the suspension or different function it will change i explained that in the test drive video then you have a button here the camera the car come with this new mercedes 360 degrees cameras that shows you what it's around the car with the high end resolution incredible resolution you can zoom in you can zoom out a little bit you can see the reverse you can see the side you can see from uh, many angles you can put it on auto as well and when you drive it's just incredible one of the best 300 surrounding cameras on the market these days it comes with park assist of course this is an optional where the car can park itself if you have the application from mercedes the car can park itself memory parking assist i didn't try it i'm not sure what it is but keep in mind that you have the possibility to park itself the car with the mobile phone go to eq here button it will get you to the information about uh, the range the battery how much it is how much you want to drive it you can 
limit it, for example, to 90%. Uh, you can go to range here. You can maximize range by uh, restricting different function. Right now, the range is 471 kilometers still, uh, and the AC it's on here. You have the consumption on the last three hours. Anyway, uh, a lot of information about the charging uh, things. Then you go to the car here, you press this area and you go to head up display, you can turn it on and off. You have the traction control, the, the snow chains, you, have, you can raise the vehicle. Um, yeah, you have to start the car, let me start it. Right now the car is ready and you can see the LED lights. Also we have these dynamic LED lights, for example if you change the temperature, you can see the LED light, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me, you see it go red and now it's go blue. And even when you talk to the car, hey Mercedes, it comes also with the voice function and you can tell to the car to ask different things and tell to the car what it should do. Anyway, going forward here you have lane assist, uh, Parktronic is the sensors, raise the vehicle, right now the car will raise up and I don't know if you can see it but it comes with air suspension and you can put it down simple just like that. Let me go to 90 degrees inside. Good. And on the second page you have also the tow away protection. So all that are like alarm and stuff like that and also interior protection. If someone want to stall your car, it will be almost impossible these days to stall your car. Here are the blinkers. Here we have the fingerprint, you put your finger here and the car can read your fingerprint and you can save your settings, for example, you can make your own user, you can close it, here is the volume. Down here, it will always stay like that. This area will be the climatic system where you can change different functions, the temperature, uh, the vent speed and stuff like that. For example, if, if you can put it on one and here you can change to put it on auto. Now, going forward, climatic system here you go to all the settings of the climatic system you can choose where the air to go you can choose also for the passenger for example also you can synchronize that the boat will be the same and yeah from here you can choose different different settings on the second row for example also here we go to second uh, the air quality also here you can choose because it has these incredible filters uh, they can filter the pm 2.5 so it's great when you have the pollution in your city it's really really good to have those filter for your uh, loan and for your health in the future this is the climatic system anyway there you have everything in this area then you go to home here on the home uh, you have the EQ settings that you see before then you have the navigation settings navigation it's incredible it's one of the best navigation these days on the market and you will see in a second why because uh, not only that it's super responsive and incredible high quality and it shows you so many information like the charging stations here you can see uh, information about the charging station on the map but even though for example if you want to go to a place let me cancel this one I think here you can cancel it yes and cancel guide right okay and if you want to go for example to Barcelona For example, we go to Barcelona, Spain. When you charge, when you when you say let's go, the car will the same as on Tesla cars, the car will do automatically the calculation for you and it will tell you where are the charging stations, where you should stop, how many times you should stop there, where you should stop there, and a lot of information about those kind of things and how much time you can do until there. Uh, I can see right now it doesn't work here properly or it's, it, it works. You can see you have to stop uh, one time but usually it, it works and it shows you here where you should stop, how many times you should stay there and stuff like that. Anyway, it's incredible. The navigation is incredible. And every time you set the navigation and you drive the car a little bit, you will see that it will show you also the camera here in the front. It will show you where you should go. It will show you temperature and all kind of information like that. So it's really, really cool navigation. Anyway, going back to home, here you have the phone, the radio, you already know it, the media, the application. Of course, you can connect your Android and Apple phone 
and um, you have a lot of settings here don't want to go too much into detail then you have the comfort features where you have the seats massage on your seats of course you have the seat information like lumbar and side and whoa you have so many so many uh, settings the ambient light here you can see you can choose the ambient light inside the car um, and the brightness of the ambient light and the effects on the ambient light you can have feedbacks wherever what happened when you accelerate when you uh, drive normal you can see that in the test drive the info here you have all the infos about the car the energy flow the vehicle and there you can see the acceleration the brake the dynamic of the car and the position of the car uh, in the space you see the battery how much battery you still have it here uh, then you have the settings let me go back then you have the settings here on the settings you have a lot of settings of the vehicle for example yeah let me turn on the car for a second in order to show you that and also let me turn on the climatic system now the assistance systems here you have all the active distance active steering lane assist collision avoidance all that safety features that the car come with you will find it here the parking assistance systems vehicle here uh, you have also the driving settings like the sound experience you can turn on the sound you have the creep mode for example you can deactivate it and you have one pedal drive the car will stop completely or it will creep like in a normal automatic car all kind of information like comfort here uh, easy entrance occupant protection the belt um, then you have open and close the vehicle and then you will change depend uh, how you want automatic folding the mirrors or whatever however you want to uh, dynamic settings here you can also uh, change different settings for example on the driving how you like to have it on comfort suspension steering uh, and sound then you go to the lights here also you have all those lights settings uh, the digital lights you can choose that dynamic low beam uh, for example they will have a nice play like that when you turn on the car uh, protection when opening and close then we have also the interior exterior light ambient light here on the ambient light you have all that settings that you see them before the system hey mercedes it's still working so it has this voice command um, i think i I'm sorry. can you yes. say that again please Tell me something about Mercedes S-Class. And you can see, and it shows you also a nice... I found nothing about the term Richardus S-Class. Okay, anyway, it's working really fine sometimes. <laughs> anyway, go to suggestion. Then here you have also other settings like languages, like display settings, the graphics, the kilometer miles, a language here, you can change whatever language you want keyboard control elements audio uh, internet of browsing time and date you can have also a feedback sound when you play with it and a vibration in your hand if you want to that uh, on the info here you have all the information about the car systems and stuff like that it's really complex you have a lot of settings here the smartphone integration here you can integrate of course your smartphone here with the car but the most impressive is this map that it's just phenomenal i mean the map it's it's the best one you have also the 3d or 2d map uh, depend how you like to have it so now this wood here is the start stop engine button really nice really simple uh, here is the stall to change the gears if you want to go in reverse you go up if you want to go in reverse you can see also you have these active lines and also uh, all that functions right here if you go in drive you go down in drive you can see the front camera and in parking you press it you have pedals here to change different recuperation mode guys so if you are in drive you can see you have no recuperation and then you have normal recuperation and strong recuperation so depend how you want to have it you can change it from those pedals steering wheel it's perfect classic for mercedes very assisted very nice very high quality also controllers here you can control every single feature on the screen so if you go home you can see you can have classic view sport view navigation you have assistance systems the service here on assistance systems you can see as on the tesla all kind of information about the car around you here is the navigation you will see the navigation all over uh, the screen in the front there then you can see the classic view you can have the sport view and then from here you can also um, change it back to classic or yeah however you want to have it anyway it looks really interesting now also understated and yeah 
you can choose however you want to have it and now I want to show you one more thing the head up display from the head up display you can turn it off and on from here and you can see wherever you want to see there it's it's a really really good head up display in my opinion it's one of the best and you have a lot of information there also here you have the controls for the cruise the, for the autopilot cruise control and all that stuff the distance it's very easy to set up you just press this button it will set up automatically while you're driving great resolution great screen one of the best perfect visibility from the driver point of view from here from my point of view here you can also control the different function right there you don't have to press something there you can control it from here it's very very easy one of the best controller for the multimedia on the steering wheel while you're driving controllers for the voice command phone and stuff like that also you have electric adjustable steering wheel down up left right you can adjust it like that you have a small button behind there other than that love this wood love this insertion of the vents also very very good quality as you touch it down here you have the glow box and you have a button down there and you open it super simple relatively big glow box i should say you can put a lot of things there you can zoom in a little bit to see it and you have also light there so quite quite nice i love all those airplane vents i call them uh, they look just lovely on the car anyway guys i think i show you almost everything inside the car if you want to see the test drive i have a separate video test drive with the same car that i have it right here probably it's already on the channel if it's not click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out overall it's a beautiful car high quality materials a lot of technology super comfortable I don't know what can I say guys about the car, it's just, it's just lovely. Anyway, if you still have questions, ask me down below, whatever you want to ask, I will answer to you guys with pleasure. Hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, I will really appreciate that. Also, if you want to see the car, if you want to buy the car, check out Tehash Willy in Switzerland. Guys, I will leave the link in the description, so if you want to buy it, tell them you see my video, you come from me and you will get a nice discount. Anyway, my rating for this new Mercedes EQE is 9.9. .9. The price is a little bit higher, but overall, it's a very, very good car. That was the video, guys. I hope you really enjoy it. I hope you get some useful info. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.